I've long observed that adolescents who are fat or obese in adolescence seem to experience less growth spurts and seem to end up less tall. Now there is a little bit of contradictory information because you have to weigh the increase in IGF-1 that comes from overeating. But with that said, in this video I'm going to tell you how being obese harms the growth hormone system and reduces growth hormone levels in the obese. But before I do, please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you haven't already, and comment on the video for the sake of the algorithm. Now let's get started. First of all, obese men experience lower serum growth hormone levels. In particular, growth hormone is released in a pulsatile fashion throughout the day, and obese people experience less spontaneous pulsatile growth hormone secretion. This seems to be due to both less growth hormone secretion initially, as well as an increased clearance of the growth hormone from the bloodstream. Growth hormone is secreted as a response to growth hormone releasing hormone in humans, GHRH. And the growth hormone secretion response to GHRH is impeded and reduced in obese people. This can change quite quickly though, with either dramatic weight loss, for example from bariatric surgery, or from dramatic nutrient deprivation. So for example, fasting for five days is quite effective. Although going on a low calorie diet for a few days doesn't work. So it's either massive nutrient deprivation or major weight loss that, that changes this response of GH secretion to GHRH. Now, not all body fat seems to be created equal. In fact, it seems that visceral fat and abdominal fat is particularly detrimental to serum GH levels. It also reduces IGF-1 levels and reduces GH secretion in response to challenges that are standard challenges used in the literature. So for example, the GH response to clonidine and the GH response to arginine are both attenuated in obese people. Now, as you know, moderate intensity exercise for 20 minutes produces an increase in GH secretion that overrides endogenous signals for about a three hour period. A year of consistent aerobic training increases GH serum GH levels in women, although consistent training appears to reduce the GH response in response to a particular training session because it improves athletic performance and therefore reduces the intensity of the exercise. Even the exercise induced increase in GH secretion is blunted in obese people. So to conclude, being obese and particularly having visceral fat may lower your serum GH levels to such a degree that they don't even respond to exercise or to manipulation, pharmacologic manipulation. If you do have children, you may want to make sure that they're not obese in their early years and in their adolescence because it may dramatically affect their long-term growth. Although with that said, I'll offer a caveat. I have come across some research indicating that eating more, though it may reduce ghrelin and though it may increase senescence of cells by raising estradiol, may, it, it, it also increases IGF-1. So the increase in IGF-1 may sometimes displace the reduction in growth hormone and so on. But generally, it's a poor idea to be fat in adolescence like I was. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for bearing with me and I'll see you next time.